let's play the third installment of Pokemon Scarlet. So, so far we've done like the tutorial, we've gone through school, we've done a gym and we found one Titan. So we're going to maybe try and do the same again, another Titan and gym today. Through school, yeah, we've got through school. And also maybe evolving a few more of our Pokemon, I think is probably the goal for today. Right, where were we up to then? Ah, I was doing this off stream and I was just kind of like trying to level up some Pokemans. Oh, and I found this like really super shiny like worm thing. I haven't caught one of those yet actually, have I? Look, there's a shiny thing over there. Is that the shiny worm thing again? And it, it like dug under the ground and I couldn't catch it. And, and then I spent ages trying to find it again and it was driving me insane. There it is! There it is! Dun, dun spruce? Dun spruce? Don't run away from me again! Come on! Please! I'm scared it's gonna run away again. What is it? Why is it so shiny? Why can't I fight it? This is the thing that I found, and I was like, it's super shiny, I don't know what it is. And then as soon as I get near it, as soon as I get near it, it digs away. It's away from me. Yes. Right, so it means it has a, un a unique non-standard terror form. Oh. Uh-oh. What have I got myself into? <laughs> hey, nice. Sweet kiss. I'm going to kiss you sweetly. All terraform and basic terraform that matches their type. Glowing po um, posts in the overworld of Pokemon dens have a unique one. I can't catch it. Oh, I have to knock it out first, don't I? And then I can catch it. I can't catch it in this form. I hope I can still catch it even though it's not one of those crystal things. If I still have a chance to catch it. So what is this Pokemon normally? So it's Terraform is poison, um, as Red says. But what kind of Pokemon is it normally? <laughs> yes! Let's catch you. Normal or rock? Oh, it's normal, okay. Yes! I caught it! Oh my god, there's th that, that one single Pokemon has caused hours of stress. I kid you not, last time I played this game, I found it and Ross was in a meeting and I was like, there's this thing and it's shiny and I don't know what it does. And I was waiting for him fin to finish work for ages so that he could come and help me. And then by the time he got got and c came and helped me, he had no idea what it was either. <laughs> A teacup? What do I find? Oh, ghost. What would be good with a against a ghost type? What the best fluffy boy of all? Which is the best fluffy boy? Which one is the best fluffy boy? I've got a Grievard. Is this one the best fluffy boy? All right, but we'll, we'll give him a good run. We'll give him a run. He's got a candle. He is the best fluffy boy. He's spoopy. He's a spoopy fluffy boy. I want to find a. I want to find a video of Captain Holt saying fluffy boy because otherwise this doesn't. What I'm saying doesn't make any sense. If you got, you guys will probably be able to hear this. Doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. Cheddar has been kidnapped. Someone took our fluffy boy. Oh my God! What happened? Well, Cheddar and I walked to the bakery together. We shared a plain scone. Then we went to the park, and I let him off leash. He never came back. Someone took our fluffy boy. Right. You mentioned that. Now, someone just to be clear, you didn't actually see boy. someone take him, right? So there's a chance Cheddar just ran away. You know, like some dogs do. Cheddar isn't some dog. He would never do that. Someone took our fluffy boy. Yes. Oh God! A great episode. Very weird, it won't let me do any. Oh my god, the little the little ghost thingy over the teacup, it's so cute! It's so cute! <gasps> it's just a little cute little 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 wolf. Oh, is that what it's called? Sinister. Oh, oh. Oh. I haven't for a cup of tea. I haven't had tea, like, like proper tea for, it's like January. 
had herbal tea. <gasps> Look at our fluffy boy with his weird Whoa. chandelier head. Definitely not because someone else went out to the boy. No. Yeet the Pokeball. We caught the we caught the teacup. Yes. He is the goodest boy. We should knock out that sassy little bird in the meantime. Okay, so we did the gym here. Right, where's the skill? Where's my skill gone? I might go over this way instead. But I don't want to get too... I don't want the, the areas to get too difficult. So I'm thinking if I try and go back to another kind of starting area. Also, if we start heading to different parts of the map, we might actually find some more Pokemon. I've been around the same area for a little while now. I feel like there's still more that I could do in those areas, but I'm just kind of, I'm, I don't want to get fed up of exploring the same place. Plus I can do all of that off stream really, cause there's not a lot to see. Like I can do crystals and all sorts like off stream. I remember liking the evolution of Mareep. I remember Amphrost being a good egg. Shiny Mareep is adorable, it's pink. What? I want a pink Mareep. Maybe I'll add it to my party. Or does this thing have, have wheels then waddle slowly? A question on all of our minds to be down. There is also the uh, problem that I can't actually remember the key to make it run fast. There is a, there is a button. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. I think my my little butt spikes are getting more spiky. I feel like they look more upright now than they 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 did. I think my butt and leg spikes. I don't know if that's correct, but. They just look more spiky to me. Wait, I can't ride Karaiden here. Why? Get up the hill, you silly bike Pokemon. It's ridiculous. Okay. Should I, should I fight this kid? With my Pokemon, not just like with fisty cuffs. Do you have one? Oh, a Terrell, I see. Actually, he's not really a he's more of a, well, they are more of a child, but anyway. <laughs> sorry about, sorry about your little, little um, Pokemon. Sorry, youngster. Thanks for your money. But he's just taken 300 coins off a child. That does not feel good. Are you ready to hear the legend of Emma, the Pokemon master? Gather round, tra trainers, and tell, let me tell you a tale that will leave you amazed and inspired. Once upon a time, in the land of Pokemon, there was a girl named Emma. She possessed a fiery spirit that burned brighter than a Charizard's flame. <laughs> her journey began with a single Pokeball in hand and a dream in her heart. Emma ventured forth, her eyes gleaming with determination. Oh god, the chat's reading too quick, move, quick, move. With each step she took, her love for Pokemon grew stronger. She battled countless trainers, her Pokemon team growing in strength and strength and loyalty. She faced gym leaders with unwavering resolve, conquering their challenges one by one. But Emma's true greatness shone when she encountered the le encountered legendary Pokemon. Well, their power and awe-inspiring presence would make any trainer tremble, but not Emma. With her unwavering spirit and strategic mind, she tamed the legendary beasts, earning their respect and allegiance. My Pokemon got fed up with me and just... It's like, I'm gonna choose a move. Right, I need to continue with the story. <clears throat> Rumours of Emma's feats spread far and wide, drawing the attention of trainers from all corners of the Pokemon world. They flocked to her, eager to learn from the Pokemon Master herself. Emma, being the kind soul she was, took them under her wing and guided them to greatness. That does sound on brand. And very knowledgeable. Um, especially when it comes to Pokemon. Her battles were epic, legendary tales passed down through generations. She faced the Elite Four and emerged victorious. Her name actually animal uh, an annals. What is it annal? Of Pokemon history. Emma's Pokemon team, a harmonious union of strength and friendship, stood as a symbol of her unwavering bond with her partners. 
Passion, ignite your own flames of determination. For the world of Pokemon, anything is possible if you believe in yourself and the power of friendship. May Emma's story forever inspire us to become the very best like no one ever was. <gasps> yes! I want one of these. I remember trying to breed loads of them or something. Like, I remember or having lots of, like, babies or something of them in one of the older games. If that can be came out of my ship. Oh. A hive bee! Fellas, small olive, olive. Damn. As if, as if this level seven didn't get caught in one. It's crazy. Oh my god, it's like a dog. It reminds me of um, it's, it's the, the like dog in Dennis the Menace a bit. I can't remember what it's called, but the dog in Dennis the Menace, Nasha. Yeah, it reminds me of Nasha a bit. I don't know whether I'm just remembering Nasha wrong or not, but it does remind me a bit of Nasha. Oh look at his little mouth. <laughs> Another one. Oh my god, it's a cat. It's one of the cat thingies. And the Oh, cat, the cat, um, one of those ones there with Team Rocket. <laughs> meow, meow. Wait, is a flying type meow? What cat type is meow normally? I'm gonna guess it's not flying type. <laughs> one of those with Team Rocket. I mean, it's accurate. Meow is one of those ones with Team Rocket. Normal. Okay, it's normally a normal. I see. I'm loving the pixelated background. It really adds to the effects. Great. <laughs> so bad. This game is really buggy. It's such a shame. Just go me off. <laughs> well, at least we caught one now. I have a flying type move. Oh, that's quite handy then. If it has got, you know, that as the second, second type. And it can actually do stuff with it. That's pretty good. Very handy. So the problem is I've come all the way down here, but I actually don't really know how to get back out again. I guess I'm going to have to jump up this way. With puns? Me too. Me too. Any puns? We have a slide problem, though. I have absolutely no idea how to get out of this side, of course. I suppose I could fly, actually, to be fair. I could just fly out of this. It's not as bad as I think it is. I'm not as stuck as I think I am. It would be nice to work out how to get out of my own way. Oh, hang on. There's a bit of ground that's short, like, a steep. That sky is so orange. I wonder if this connects to a different part, because a lot of the Pokemon that I'm seeing now are very similar to a like area we've already kind of explored. I'm curious about Team Star. Don't even think about it. If you go into Team Star, you'll have me to contend with. So let me show you a taste of the fear you will face. <gasps> it's a horse. It's a defensive horse. I want one. It's Shrek and Donkey. Ow. It's strong donk strong donkey. That Pokemon has layers. It really does have layers. Layers of defense that I can't get through. Come on. Iron tail the shit out of it. <laughs> I really want one of these. What? 
I think I'll switch Pokemon. <laughs> Something that's a bit more health, maybe. 116, that'll do. <laughs> he tanky. My Gastrodon is strong. Okay, that's better. That's better. I mean, it's not super effective against me either, which is nice. Ancient power. Let's do that one. Not very effective. Okay, but it did like half of this force's health. You, it's so wobbly. I love it. I should have used that before, but I didn't realise that it would be super effective. So, oopsies. Wow, my reap's gone up a lot of levels. Wait, there's more? Oh no, the desperate for a piss dog. This is your this is your answer to the, any query you had about potentially joining Team Star. Don't do it. Okay, we're in um Cor Cortondo. Look at that wit look at hang on. Look at those butterfly Pokemon. I think it's Butterfree and I don't know what the other one is, but their wings are flapping so slowly. It's a little bit angry, I'm not sure I like it very much. Thank you for the welcome. Your your body language could help you a little bit with that, but Our gym leader here in Corton uh, Cortondo is the battling baker herself, K Katie. Don't let her sweet looks fool you into letting down your guard. You've come to Cortondo right in the middle of our Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here... Oh, not a gym test. Serves as part of the festival too. Go around and catch olives, aren't I? See olive catching in my future. Of course Nimona's here already. <laughs> so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time. Again. A very weird coincidence, isn't it, Nimona? It's almost like she's following me. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh, how weird. Might we might as well bet in battle now we're here. Oh, and the bloody eyebrows again. Did you see the speed of them? I know I, cl I clicked quite quickly, so you might not have done, but... She is, um, she is fierce with the eyebrow movements. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. <gasps> Whoa, thank you for the gift. Sorry I was being a bitch about you. <laughs> I really don't like Nomona. <laughs> she really, uh, she's, not my, she's not my kind of gal. Welcome to the Cortondo Museum. Museum, gym. Not dead yet. In order to face gym leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cortondo gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Oh no. <laughs> We've held the olive harvest festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. What? I have to roll an olive? Okay. I accidentally ran it into the wall. Not excited for this, I have to say. The staffer over, staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. And roll some olives. I don't understand how rolling olives makes me a good Pokemon trainer. Are you the olive rolling champion? Nope, she's a Pokeball. That's the goal. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get the large olive ball rolling and make it to the end. <laughs> so dumb, I love it. Um, get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? I feel like it can't be failable. Like, I, I must be able to succeed at this. Great, put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. <laughs> If it hits the wall, it's not going to like cause many problems, is it? 
Big down note over this all. This isn't really an olive, it's just a giant coin. Oh! What? <laughs> Whoops! Oops! Now I mustn't be able to fail this. I think it's only if, it's probably only if it ends up like outside of the bounds, essentially. There's a guy there. Is he going to stop me if I try and go past it? If I hit it really hard. Oh, he won't get he won't let me get it fast. <gasps> what? I didn't use Coriden in here. Like it's so much easier. I was expecting like, go! I was expecting like an olive that was like this size, as in like, not in the game. Cause obviously like when you look at the screen that probably is about the size, but I was expecting relative to my character, it would be like this big and I would just have to like roll it along for a little while. Um, I was not expecting that. As a jazzy restaurant. Woo. <gasps> I want a real restaurant like this with butterflies and Pokemon. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh wait, is this where we, oh, I guess this is where we battle it out, but that is such a nice little spot. I want that IRL, genuinely. I really, really like that. Very cool. If I had a garden like that, I'd be very happy. I hear you are on a roll there. Ha ha, ha ha, you're hilarious. A bit congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. Thanks. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Excellent. Let's do this. I'm going to destroy the sugar bug. It's quite cute though. I like her hair color. I like the like clapping or whatever it is in the background. Do, 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 do. My name is Katie and I'm the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Can I read that right? This bit called really weird mishmash things. Um, I'm not in my shop, I'm on duty as leader of the Cord uh, Cordondo Gym right now. Forgive me, ahem, my name is Katie and I am the gym leader here in Cordondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you'd like to find yourself knocked off your feet. You can't knock me off my feet, they're huge. My giant stompers get knocked by no no man, woman or bug-type Pokemon. Your challenge by Jimmy Indicating. Excellent. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. Wow, I did not expect such a such trash talk from one so sweet looking. How do I find a thunderstone? I don't want to. Oops. I'm not sure. I just did. Press the wrong one. Oh well, we made friends with the uh, nimble. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I need a thunderstone for, for Ross, but I don't want to Google it because I don't want to like ruin things myself. So I'm just gonna have to hope that I find one at the time. Uh, we'll keep our current Pokemon. Honestly, I'm just going to keep going with Ross for a while. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> olive rolling and stuff. Excellent joke. Love it. Now my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Why is it that they can always do their 
terraform by actually three moves first. I think that's very unfair. Teddy Sora looks very cute with antlers, though, I have to say. <gasps> Oh my god, that's adorable. That is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Teddy Ursa, sorry, not Teddy Sora. I keep getting the, the name wrong, but te Teddy Ursa, sorry. <gasps> it's so cute! I feel I feel bad for just demolishing it. It's so bloody adorable. Oh, look at it. What does it evolve into? Does it evolve? It doesn't evolve into like a big scary bear. It's sad. One so sweet, turning into one so grumpy looking. <gasps> we won! We beat the gym. The moon also really like fl flew in really quickly. <laughs> All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. You can roll your deceased out of it. It's like I rolled that olive. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. <laughs> I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Yes. I love some handmade treats. Two gym jam badges in your possession. Pokemon of up to level 30 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. <laughs> Rude. How about a little, little TM as they're frosting on the cake? I tamed Pounce. Nimona had mentioned that there was a pro promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologise. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? I'm one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. What? I also teach art classes in the academy. So do tell me, young Emma, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? I want to collect Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> I want to collect gym badges so that I can catch Pokemon at a higher level without having to learn their level first. Have you got that as a champion? Really? Actually, there is no single correct answer. There's also not the, the correct answer for me, but you know. All pass leads to the great crater of Paldea, as they say. You know, my friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Pendil Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Yeah, I'm gonna beat I'm gonna beat Nimona. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you'll one day have to battle me. You'll be wise to train hard now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Wow. What a way to spare on a young woman. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I'd be thrilled to have you attend. She doesn't even know if I can do art. Sorry, I'm just like complaining about every chat chat thing right now. Not bad. I do enjoy this game, I swear. I'm just taking the mick out of everything that they say. But I, I'm actually having a lovely time. You to head down this way to... It sounds like this earlier. I was all sort of heading in this general direction earlier. But I think this area in general is a little bit stronger and a bit harder to beat. So I was thinking if I go for... I think I was going to do another Titan. Okay, well I guess we'll go here then. <gasps> Maripa is evolving! Our first, uh, first evolve of the day. <gasps> it's pink! Is it supposed to be pink? Is it Ampharos that's... It is supposed to be pink. Okay. Oh, Oh, it's shiny for a second. That is so cute. Ampharos goes yellow. Oh, okay, right. I thought it was... I was like... Hang on. This doesn't seem the right colour. Our first, first Pokemon evolve of the day. And hopefully we will then get Ampharos soon-ish. <gasps> is that a Mudbray? Yes, please. Oh, also, actually, now I think about it, there was originally... Something shiny up here that I can now hear, but I can't see once again. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And there's a little elephant one as well that I need to catch. There's so many Pokemon in this route that I have to catch. I must need to wipe them all down. 
Yay! It does help when catching them, it's nice and easy. What is that? I don't like it. It's really cute, but I also have no idea what it is. I'm slightly scared of it. I couldn't work out which was its head and which was its bum. <laughs> yes, we caught it! Jeez, that, that weird brown, like, slug whale was surprisingly strong. Don't jump. Why? I want to get to the town. I also need to get to this Pokestop and heal. Wait. Oh my god, I've just... Oh, bloody hell, I'm such an idiot. This is literally the area we've already explored. I've gone the wrong way again. <laughs> oh for godness sake. Okay, well, I need to go back up that way again. I'm going to actually put a marker on the map where I'm trying to get to so that we know. All the way over here. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to happen today. Uh, is there anywhere else I can go? Oh, there's a Titan right here. Let's go there. We've already, we're actually not too far. I did say I wanted to try and do another gym and a Titan today. So maybe we just skip the second gym that I'm trying to do, which is miles away, um, and try and do that other Titan. I think that makes that makes more sense. The levels I'm trying to fight at the moment are too strong, so fight a few Pokemon on the way. Just level up a little bit. We have a call from Arvin. Yo, Emma, from what, I, from what I gather, seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountains too. It's going to be a little tricky to stand around and look around for, and look for the titan while dodging all of those. I think you'll be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder, but maybe you could power your way atop that brute of yours. I can see it, I can see it. I can see the, uh, the, the legendary, it's up here. How am I gonna root my way up? That's just true. Right, we need to work out how on earth to get past these boulders. I, I'm trying to just cheese it by just like not running in the path of them. <laughs> Here we go, our second Titan of the game. Play through. Ugh. What on earth? Oh my lord, that's giant! What is it doing? Why is it holding its, its little mouth? It's so weird. Bombardia, the open sky Titan. To deliver babs true wow i was expecting it to last a little bit longer than that let's see rip big bird oh okay off it goes it's like one of those birds that flies into windows and it's like oof <laughs> that's what she said lol the Titan Bombardier began eating something. Emma, you managed to get the Titan somehow, huh? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's been trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. Come on. Oh. I guess, um, I shouldn't have, um, I shouldn't have wanted it to... I shouldn't have been so full of myself being like, oh, I thought it would have lasted longer because we now have to fight it again. Reading is fun. If you're good at it anyway. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, well that was still pretty easy. <gasps> Goodbye, birdie. Goodbye, Titan birdie. Yay! Astrogen looks very cute. It's very happy with what it's done. Yes, way to go, Emma! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Let's go eat a sandwich! 
I don't remember what I did last time. I think I like lost my sandwich or something. I gave it to, gave it away or something. There has to be more of that Herbert Mystica ace in there. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb, herb here. Yeah, let's hope. It's really here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. Bring on that weird green shit. You and Arvin found the bitter mystic, uh, Herba Mystica. We did it. Thanks, Emma. Now, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter Herba Mystica. Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. And that warms you right up. Nice and toasty. Even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Hmm. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Time to dig in. Let me whip up something for up, uh, something up for us. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes to the side of Titan Badge. As a token of my gratitude, of course. Excellent. Do I get to eat the sandwich? Yeah, please. Oh, there we go. You again? <laughs> yeah, let's give him our sandwich. Yeah, we want to. We want to give you our sandwich. Good thing I made extra. Oh, he made extra this time. Thank goodness for that, rather than having to me having to um convince him to share half of his sandwich. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Koraiden could have a sandwich, okay? <gasps> He's softening. He's starting to like Koraiden after all this time. He's getting better. Trump, Trump, schnoff, Trump. <gasps> Yay! Koraiden will be able to move across the water now. We can swim at long last. That's still another sandwich. <laughs> Wow, he's an angry. He's an angry boy. I should tell you the full story. Oh, is he going to tell us about why he hates this Pokemon? Oh my god. This is Mobu Stiff. This is a very cute boy. Oh, look at his sad little chops. Oh. Oh, this is why he wanted the herbs. Actually made me tear up a little bit. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Arvin. Okay, well, I'm friends with our Arvin now. I take back all of my judgmentalness. Small bites are fine, just chew nice and slow. Oh. Trying to cure his Pokemon. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Nothing seems to help. Oh! Oh, this is so sad. Potions, not Pokemon centers. Nothing. I promise I'd make him better, whatever it takes. Search online. I read books. I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody would usually believe. But I believe it, and I think, um, I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mobo Stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. <gasps> Come on, you can do it! You can do it! <gasps> he opened his eyes! Oh man, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. This is the most heartbreaking but heartwarming scene I've ever seen. <laughs> I just love pets. Be so sad if mine was unwell. I would do anything too. <laughs> Those fiery orange little eyes, hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mobo Stiff back to full health, I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. 
I had no idea this was why we were finding herbs. I just thought he was like just generally interested. I didn't realize it was like to cure his sick doggo. Hello, Emma. This is Sada. Sada, rather. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems she should now be able to move across water. Coridon can now move across bodies of water, opening up in it and new ways to get around. Sounds a little bit suspect, to be honest. If you press the B button while you're in water, Coridon can even jump. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Coridon. Should we go for a swim in celebration of our of defeating the air Pokemon? So we can now swim. Where's that weird Pokemon? It's like holding its pooch. Let's go for a swim! delightful <laughs> we're swimming pokemans now thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i cannot wait to see you again in the next one but in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe on youtube and to follow me on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash emma lilico that's e-m-m-a-l-i-l-i-c-o